friends, my new friends. I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope you guys are having a way in, um, I, mean, oh, I was supposed to say wonderful, and then I don't know what else is going to come out. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. So far, um, today we are going to be playing with the new Scott Barnes palettes. And we have his lip glosses. I have his, I forgot to pull them out. He had a limited edition set. Um, these ones here. And we're going to take a look at all of this stuff. In the meantime, I've decided I was looking at both of them. And I'm just not in the mood to do a really bright, bright look like this. I'm just not. Um, maybe I'll take like one of them like underneath. You can see it's it's pretty. The palette is beautiful. Um, I have not swatched any of them other than the one I just showed you. Um, I'm curious about the one in the middle. The shimmer, like with the pink. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, but yeah, I'm just not in the mood to do a look like that. So we're going to use the natural palette he came out with which is it's called shimmering sand and the other one is called tequila sunrise so these come with let's see and well it's a total weight of 0 0.163 ounces 4.6 grams um they are not tested on animals and they are recyclable and they have a shelf life of two years, 24 months. And they cost $25 each. So this is the neutral one. This is the one that is calling my name. Although I wish that there was a lighter color in here because although it may look like this is light and this is light, they're not at all. They're very, very brownish. This one's more yellow. You can see it kind of right there. And the other one is right there. I mean, they're light, but they're just not like, they're not like, let's see. I, I bought these two. I, I'm in love with the colors in these palettes. Okay, this one doesn't really have one either. Let's see this one. Yeah, Makeup Revolution is like taking over my life for some reason. Something like this. Okay, I wanted something like that in the Scott Barnes palette. But it is a tiny palette, so he didn't have a lot of room. I'm glad that he kind of went with something a little less expensive. Oh. It's pretty. Um, because I know his other palette was, I think, like $70 or something or $80, which is very expensive when it comes to, which is kind of expensive when it comes to a palette. I haven't gotten to use this yet, but I am so excited to try this and to try this. This one, which is looks like the other one, this is going to be products I use next week. All next week I'm going to be doing drugstore looks using drugstore palettes all week. Not any high-end anything as far as eyes go. So and then on my lips I have Peach Princess which is so pretty. Looks like that. Oh it is gorgeous and it's looks like it's got a lot of pigment but it really honestly it doesn't it is very um sheer you can see i mean it has like a tiny bit but you could just use it as a clear lip gloss in it and it'll look beautiful the eyeshadow look so we are going to first go into they don't have names 
So we're first gonna go into this one here and see what this looks like on. Oh, I need to pop out or blend out my eyeshadow primer. My P. Louise is creasing. Okay, so we're gonna go into that one. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a like yellow to it, which I was expecting. So that's not bothering me. I think it looks really, really pretty. Very pretty. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And now we're gonna go into this one here. Same brush. And we're just gonna go underneath that sh first shade. We're not trying to cover it up. Now we're gonna go back into the very first color we used. Um, I feel like we lost a little bit of that and just put that back at the top very lightly. Okay, so that's what we have going so far. So now I'm gonna get a bigger brush, a fluffier brush, and I'm going to just kind of blend this all out, soften any, soften any edges that there may be. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to go in to the whole lid with the middle shade. And that is this one here. It is very champagne looking. My fingers clean. Looks like that. So incredibly pretty. And they're so creamy, guys. Like so, so creamy. I'm gonna see first how it works with a brush, and then we're going to see how it works with a finger. If I can find a nice, like, small packing brush. Okay, we're gonna use this little tiny little guy. It's a Morphe M124. do a whole lot just added some glitter so I'm gonna let's try this again okay so now we're gonna just kind of wet it I'm gonna use I have okay I'm gonna use my Rihanna what it do spray because I don't like to use this on my face it makes me look too glowy and I'm already kind of uh, on the oilier side. So we got it wet and then we're gonna go in. I always get worried doing this because I don't wanna ruin my shadows by giving them like hard pan.
But like I was saying, I'm glad he went with something a little less expensive because I feel like this will give people the opportunity to try his formulation without spending that large amount of money that his other palette is. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of this dark color on the outer corner just to kind of give myself a little bit more dimension because there really isn't any on the outside and I would like just a tad bit more. Okay, so you know what's funny is that the shimmer really reminds me of a frog, except for it's not as shimmery as frog. It's just, but the, the glitter in it, it reminds me of the same, of how frog looks, other than frog gives you a lot more glitter and yeah I like that uh, I like the way this turned out I think that the colors are really pretty I didn't get to try one of them which is this one here at the top um, which is it's really pretty I don't know if you can see it's right there um, I just don't know what I would do with that I guess we can try to add it somewhere. Oh, I don't know if I like that. It took away the yellow-ish color, that like light mustard. But now I gotta do it to both eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that mustard shade. And bring that back. It is pretty though. He did a good job. He did a good job. It's a very light, uh, very light palette. Like you can create a fall and nice winter look with this um, because they're dark colors, but it is very, very light. I was gonna put a little bit of this purple underneath and I think we should just try it. what I do with my okay I mean it's whatever right I feel like purple can go with everything especially browns okay that's what that looks like there and I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger to kind of blend this out. I feel like my outer corner is too stark. There we go. See how this one just has kind of like a straight line and this one is kind of more blended out. Yeah, we want to blend that out and nothing better than a finger. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara and my lashes and I will be back with my final thoughts. All right guys, so this is the final look. I think it turned out really pretty. The shadows were so easy to blend. They went on beautifully. I wish the glitter would have had a little bit more of a shine, um, but I get it. It's, I don't think it's meant to necessarily be like this, you know, you can tell by it, it's not meant to be super, super glittery. It's almost more of a sheen than anything, but I would have preferred a, uh, this reminds me more of a highlighter than an actual eyeshadow is what I'm saying, which I guess you could use it as that as well if you prefer something a little bit more glittery like I do. Um, I think that they are pretty, they, Purple went on beautifully underneath. I am glad it came with a mirror. 
Um, it's got one, two, three, four, five colors, which is pretty great for Scott Barnes, considering it's only 25 bucks. Um, I really, really like the shimmer in this one. I think he gave it a little bit more of an oomph than the other one. Let's see. Um, but this is also supposed to be a little bit more of a, you know, I don't know. Ooh. It's supposed to be a little bit more of a colorful palette than the other one. So and I really think that uh, Scott, this is just my personal opinion. I really think that Scott Barnes um, is targeted more towards um, women 30 and up than, uh, than you know, teenagers and, and 20 year olds. Not that you can't use these products, but I just feel like he softens them and makes them more wearable for people of, that aren't in their 20s. So yeah, I, was, I don't wanna say older people because you're not older when you're in your 30s or your 40s, you're still young, but you're just not a baby anymore. Um, yeah, I think it looked gorgeous. I think it turned out really, really nice and I am, really really happy with the look all right guys i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you you were thinking about picking these up um you know they are 25 dollars. you don't get a lot of product but they are i think pretty inexpensive compared to what he has been offering in the past hey guys just interrupting really quick remember these are um colors and looks you can create with other palettes so if you can't afford these even though they're 25 bucks and it doesn't seem like a lot they do add up to is 50 bucks so you can create these looks with the palettes that you probably do already have in your collection so just remember that don't feel the need or the urge to go and purchase these just because they're scott barnes just letting you know okay bye guys lip glosses I think are the best the best and I am not a sticky lip gloss person I think that I definitely prefer something a little more like serum -y, but not too serum -y, where it feels like you've got baby oil on your lips just balmy this is definitely more than that but not too sticky to where my hair is gonna just be you know sticking to my face so um out of everything i bought from his new stuff i would say the lip glosses are definitely my favorite definitely definitely so all right guys i hope you guys have a wonderful day an amazing rest of your week and a marvelous august and i will see you guys all in the next one bye